and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I think I said this about like three weeks ago, but I'm going to start doing these every single week because I feel like you guys have always a lot of questions to ask me, especially those who watch my vlog channel. I post five vlogs a week and I do a lot of stuff so people are as curious and I just like connecting with you guys and feeling like we're like BFFs and like just you guys know that you can come on here every week and we can kind of chat about life. And I'm hoping to be posting the Q&A's every Sunday, so just remember that every Sunday to come back on here, you'll tell me about how your life's going, I'll tell you how my life's going, it's going to be beautiful. If you're new, hey girl, hey, my name's Paulina, I'd love for you to subscribe, I'm not going to harass you, but I mean, come on, bulls, let's do it if you want. Um, I'm drinking out of this Good Morning Gorgeous cup, it's from Home Goods. I actually found it, so super, super cute, and it's just like in the morning when you're waking up, you know, you're like tired, you're, you put on that cup and you're like, yes, yes, and I, I'm just using the brand uh, Donut Shop, the regular coffee with some coconut creamer from Trader Joe's, girl, this is the best combination ever. I love Snapchat a lot, I use Snapchat every single day, I try to do like mini vlogs on there sometimes almost. And share a lot of stuff. Um, it's just hard because you know I'm like vlogging on my vlogging camera and then Snapchatting it and then also Instagramming it. So it's like a lot. But I really love Snapchat. And I asked you guys. I posted this little video trying to put the volume on, saying this. And I'm getting so many right now, oh my gosh, and let's just go over them and do this live. And this is just so fun, it's so interactive because you guys that watch me get to see like your actual face on here. It's just so cool, so let's begin. Hi, sorry I look so gross, I just got back from practice, but I just wanted to know if you played any sports in high school. Love you. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So I did, I played soccer all since second grade, so when I got into high school, like you obviously assume I'm just going to continue with the sport you've been doing. So I played soccer there for about a year, and I honestly just discovered that it wasn't like a big passion of mine anymore, so I stopped playing, but it was definitely super fun in my childhood, but obviously as I got older, I started focusing on other things, I was kind of like not passionate about it, and I wasn't going to do it because I didn't like it anymore, so I played soccer. Okay, you had so many questions, girl. Coco is excited as well. Come here, Nugget. So when you said how to meditate, it's, it's kind of, it's so, it's, it's really basic when you say it, but you literally just sit down and try not to think about anything. And I just try to focus like right here. If I close my eyes, it's called your third eye. But I focus like right, right around here, almost like right in between my brows. And just any thought that comes, you, I visualize it as a balloon and it just floats away. And it just, it's hard in the beginning. You're going to get distracted. You're going to keep thinking about thoughts. You get frustrated. You get pissed sometimes. You're like, I can't focus. With time it gets better and now like for example I can just close my eyes and not think about anything and do it like that. Also if you're starting I'd recommend doing some guided ones on YouTube. There's so many things. You can look up like guided meditation 10 minutes, guided meditation 20 minutes. You can do things like that and someone will walk you through to picture so that it's easier to follow something like have something to continuously picture in your mind versus getting lost. And I, it makes a really big difference. I feel like you become more peaceful, more aware. You can just Google benefits of meditation on Google and I'm sure so much will come up. And my favorite highlighter is a Becca's Opal. I love Champagne Pop, don't get me wrong. Like obviously, love Jacqueline Hill. But my skin is um, cool tone, so for me, I love Champagne Pop, but sometimes it can look a little too, yeah, a little too warm, right now. Come here. Um, Coco's here. It looks a little too warm on me sometimes, so I love Opal because it's just like a beautiful highlighter ring right now, but it reflects more of like an icy, like an icy, cool toned um, shimmer. So I really recommend that one. Hey, Polina, I just want to say that I love your videos, and my question is what is your all time favorite eyeshadow palette? Okay, this is such a, for me, like, I just, it's an easy question because it's definitely the Tarte Lip Palette. It's just the one with the purple lid. I'll try to link it down below. I love all the colors in it. There are a ton of different matte browns from cool tones to warm tones. To, there's even some plums, some just like a plain black. It's just the most 
basic palette and it's just so good for travel for every day. I've been using it every single day. I just I use like a fluffy brush, just put a little of that those mixed two browns in the outer corner, lashes and your eyes look big and like it looks like there's some color and it's so easy to do and it's definitely the one I get the most use out of. I use it every single day. Uh, I find other palettes I use for a little bit and then I like go back like just move on to the next thing. But that one I love and I think I've already hit it pan on like four colors, so it's definitely a really good one, especially if you are doing like neutral looks and you're not trying to do full glam for class, you know? Hi Selena, so I would like to know uh, how do you act or like what do you do when boys compliment you in a dirty way? Greetings from Spain. Oh my, that's an interesting question. This is actually such like such an issue. I feel like I feel like a lot of the day, a lot of the time now, guys feel like they can make inappropriate like comments to you. I feel like especially catcalling is just like so annoying in LA. It happens all the time. Like I don't know. Do, do guys think that yelling like "Ooh, nice ass!" Like do you think that like I'm gonna be like "Oh, I have found my soulmate. That is my husband. That was so sweet of you. Do you want to go on a date?" Like. I honestly try to ignore it, um, if people are getting too pushy, I would literally just say like, I'm not interested. Most people will make subtle, like, they'll hit on you in subtle ways, and I'll just kind of laugh, or just like, if it's not catcalling, it's just like direct, I'll just be like, haha, <laughs> try to like, avoid it, not even reply, show that I'm not interested, but also be polite. If it's catcalling, I would completely ignore it, and if they continue to say, um, like, I would, I would just kind of walk away if they're just walking past someone, but if someone's like, continuously harassing you, I would just be straightforward and be like, I am not interested, and I'd really appreciate if you would not talk to me like that, thank you so much, I mean, there's always so much you can do, and if it gets worse, depending on the situation, you might tell a friend, someone older than you, etc., but I think just ignoring it is just the best way, and if they're getting aggressive, just be straightforward and be like, I'm not interested. Well, Lena, my question is, how did you become such a spiritual person, and do you have any tips on becoming um, my, I mean, I don't know, I guess my mom's always been to spiritual stuff like meditation, yoga, things like that, crystal energy, and like working with that. So she kind of introduced me to do it, and then I met my friend here out here, Ollie, who's also into it, and it kind of just like re-inspired that part of me. I started getting more into it, and the more people I met there were into it. It just, once you get a community, you're just constantly surrounded by it, you become so passionate, and when you see like your life change in such positive ways, like week after week after week, you just want to do more, and I feel like personal growth is so important. Like, I don't know, I can't, I think it's so important to put, I just said important like eight times in a sentence, but it's important to put your personal growth and happiness first. I mean, isn't that like the most important thing here for us to grow as people and be happy? Like, I don't know, I feel like some people focus on so many relevant things, like, like, I don't know, like, going out, partying, and just, like, going through their cycles, and don't even take the time to, like, try to find, like, who am I, what do I like, what are my passions, and just developing themselves as a person. I think what you can do to get started is maybe start, like, a hobby or something. Try to find something that you truly love. Do that every single day. Try, try meditating every single day, just quieting your mind, like, relaxing, having time for you, doing one nice thing for yourself every day. Maybe starting to read but like positive books. Um, I'll link some recommendations down below. But things like, I mean, I love the book The Power of Now. I like the book um, You Are a Badass. I like the book The Creative Habit. Books like that, which I'll link down below. Just start. But once you start seeing how other people are living their lives in such like inspired and passionate ways, you're like, I want to add things like this and aspects and elements of these people's lives into mine. You know, once you start seeing like how how much more you can improve your life and your happiness and your joy and your well-being and your health and fitness you're like you want to do the most for your body yourself your i mean your mental health is everything what you think becomes your reality so i think it's really important to take the time out to make sure you're coming from like a centered mindset and a happy place those are all the questions um which i have still so much coming in i love doing these again i'm gonna start doing these every week so they'll be up on sunday so if you want to be inter interactive hunty just feel free to follow me on snapchat which is just the same thing as my youtube username and it's public and everything like that. And it's honestly a great time. I mean, am I going to say it's not? It's obviously a fun time. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Those really helped me out so that people can, you know, see Coco and, and all her glory. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Thank you so much for participating, especially if you sent something in. Or, you need, or even if you just Snapchat me daily. Like, I see all of those. So thank you so much. I try to reply to a lot of them. You guys are so, so, so awesome, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, you're smart. You're